Hi, welcome to my channel, Math Made Easy with Laurel. I'm Laurel, and in this video, we're going to talk about taper angles. In the previous two videos, I talked about trig functions, and I talked about how you can use the definition of trig functions in your calculator to find either a missing side or a missing angle in a right triangle. If you haven't watched those videos yet, I strongly recommend that you do so because we're going to be using that information in this video on taper angles. So if we were to take a taper and slice it in the middle and get a cross-sectional area of it, we would get this shape here, this two-dimensional shape called a trapezoid. Four sides, two sides are parallel. And there's four different pieces of information that are relevant about this taper. There's the large diameter of the taper, the small diameter, the length of the taper, and what's called the taper angle or the included angle. So we're going to take a look at a couple of examples to find a missing piece of information when we know the other values. And we're going to use right triangles to do that. If you take a look, there are no right triangles here. However, if I were to draw a line from this point to this end, it would be perpendicular with this side, and I can do the same thing at the bottom. So this trapezoid will turn into a rectangle and two triangles. Now because it's a constant taper, this side of the trapezoid will be equivalent to this side of the trapezoid. That's called an isosceles trapezoid when the two non-parallel sides are equivalent. It's important to understand that with an isosceles trapezoid, these two triangles will be equivalent. It won't in other trapezoids, but it will be true with an isosceles trapezoid. So that means that this angle of this right triangle and this angle of this right triangle are equivalent. Those two added together give us the included angle or the taper angle. So this right triangle is exactly the same as this, and we're going to use one of those right triangles to find whatever information is missing from our problem. So let's take a look at two examples, one where we know the taper angle and one where we're trying to find the taper angle. In our first example, we know the large diameter, but we don't know the small diameter. We know the length of the taper and we know the taper angle. So what we're going to do is take this top triangle, which will be a right triangle, and we're going to label the things that we know. We know this length here is 1.850. I'll drop the zero while I'm doing the calculations. I don't know this length here, but I can find the angle. The included angle is 8 degrees 30 minutes. Some of you will have calculators that will allow you to find trig functions when your angle is in degrees, minutes, and seconds. But I'm going to change it to a decimal value. So in order to do that, I can either use the function on my calculator that changes degrees, minutes, seconds to decimal degrees. But basically, we're going to take 30 minutes and divide by 60. That's going to be 0.5 degrees. Add it to this. This will be 8.5 degrees. In order to find this angle, I'm going to divide this by 2. So 8.5 degrees divided by 2 will equal 4.25 degrees. So this is going to be the angle in my right triangle. What I'm going to do is find this side here, I'm going to call it x, because once I find that value, I'm, I'm going to be able to use that to find this diameter. So I'm going to name these two sides in relation to this particular angle. This is the side opposite the angle. This is the side adjacent to the angle. So the trig function that uses opposite and adjacent is the tangent function. So the tangent of my angle, 4.25 degrees, will be equal to the side opposite, which is x, divided by the adjacent side, which is 1.85. And now I'm going to solve for x. In order to do that, I'm going to multiply both sides by 1.85. It will cancel on this side. So x will equal 1.85 times the tangent of 4.25 degrees. That will be equal to 0 0.137. 
Now I'm going to use that value to find this diameter. I know that that value is in the top triangle. It's also going to be the same value here. So if I take 0 0.6 inches and subtract 2 times 0.137 inches, I will get 0 0.325 inches. So that would be the small diameter for that particular taper. Let's do an example now of finding the taper angle when we know all of the other dimensions. In my second example, I know the large diameter and I know the small diameter and I know the length of the taper. I'm sorry it's not drawn to scale. What I need to find is the taper angle. So again, I'm going to take this right triangle. I can take either the top one or the bottom one, it doesn't matter. I label what I know. This length here is 60 millimeters. This length here will be 20 minus 12, which is 8. So this distance right here is 12. Therefore, this plus this will be 8 millimeters. Therefore, this will be 4 millimeters. You need to take the difference in the diameters and then divide by 2. So this is 4 millimeters here. And what I don't know is this angle, which I'm going to call theta. Again, I'm going to label my sides in relation to that angle. This is the opposite side. This is the adjacent side. And the trig function that I'm going to use is the tangent function. So the tangent of this angle theta will equal opposite, which is 4, over adjacent, which is 60. And this time, I'm finding the angle, so I have to use my inverse tan function. My angle theta will equal the inverse tan of 4 over 60. You could reduce that if you want to 1 over 15. It's not going to matter. So on your calculator, know how to use the inverse tan function. And when you punch that in, you should get 3.814 degrees. That's this angle here. The taper angle, or the included angle, is going to be double that because it's that amount in that triangle. It's the same amount in this triangle. So our taper angle will equal 2 times 3.814 degrees, 7.628 degrees. You could leave your angle in decimal form, or if you want to change it to degrees, minutes, seconds, you figure out how to do that on your calculator, or you watch a video that I did previously on how to do that manually. Either way, you should get 7 degrees, 37 minutes, 41 seconds. So in doing any of these taper angle calculations, you're going to want to draw the cross-sectional area, which should be this isosceles trapezoid. Then take one of the right triangles, either the top one or the bottom one, label the pieces of information that you know. It'll either be two sides and you're finding an angle, or you'll know the angle and one of the sides and you're finding the other side. In either case, you're going to be using the tangent function because you're going to be using the opposite and the adjacent side. Find the missing piece of information. Remember, if it's an angle, double it to get the included or the taper angle. If it's this side that you're finding, remember you have to deal with, use that to determine the missing diameter.